technological parameters. Code WMAP Plant. Dark Energy. 68.5%. I've conceived of the gallery space as a, a giant uh, dark matter detector. And this brings together four pieces of work which are asking questions that are connecting art and science in various ways, but with a specific focus on dark matter. Even if the Even time if and the space time and hasn't, space gone, on hasn't gone on forever. Dark matter is a very elusive substance. We know that it is very abundant. It is around us and it is crossing this gallery and this planet as we speak. A difficulty that we had when preparing this exhibition was also the fact that dark matter cannot be seen. Speak this text aloud. So how do you fill a gallery with something that's invisible? An invisible atomic component. A neutrino, dark matter. It's seasonal, some will say. I really enjoyed approaching such a scientific thing and being able to bring it to a more of an emotional level um, instead of it being so analytical in a way. So like bringing on my experience of it was I was able to bring my subjectivity and, and subvert some things and play with it and bring it to a shape that I didn't even expect, you know, so it's just it's, yeah, it's working with the unknown, and I'm always, always up for working with the unknown, I guess. Energies, not forms, not figures. 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 Comment est-ce qu'on pouvait euh, détecter cette matière noire qu'on cherche On cherche, on sait qu'elle, on sait qu'elle est là, mais euh, on continue de chercher comment, euh, comment prouver son existence. Et donc, euh, et donc, ce qui m'intéressait, c'est cette histoire de capteur, de, de capteur de matière noire. Et donc, ça m'a donné l'idée. Euh, moi, en tant que, que compositeur et, et artiste, de créer, donc de, de créer une boîte, une boîte sonore, euh, qui serait capable donc de capter un petit peu le, de capter l'énergie du mouvement, du vent, donc de capter les vibrations et de, de traiter ces informations et de les transmettre d'une du, manière sur un support audiovisuel. With the use of text and with the use of voice and this way of finding a poetic language for thinking about what dark matter is, this big mystery that we, is still unresolved. Sound is, is all around us, but often we don't necessarily pay it attention. Sound is the main protagonist and it fills the room. We've uh, launched what a priori is an impossible question, which is, uh, can we hear dark matter? Can we listen to dark matter? Okay, we know that it is, around us, but can we attune our senses to try and feel it? In a sense, this is not too different from what we try to do in science, in my research. We are trying to devise new apparatuses, new uh, machines that enlarge our sensitivity to unknown particles. Okay? In a sense, we are constructing detectors which uh, allow us to sense what we cannot feel with our senses. So it's asking you to pay attention, to, to put an ear, um, perhaps to re readjust your body position, and ultimately you might be able to detect dark matter yourself. <laughs>